my friend, <clears throat> I just left the gym and I'm leaving some conversations, some inside the group, others that I've had with uh, some of my personal clients. And it's, it's not alarming. It's not shocking. It's almost tragic that we are not paying as much attention to the words that we're, that we're using to describe ourselves and our personal situations. Words like, I can't, I shouldn't, um, people like us, I could never have. These words we know are negative, right? We're just like, oh yeah, I should never say I should. I just did it in the middle of that conversation, in the middle of that sentence. I know I shouldn't, I yet I do. The, if you had any idea how much power you give a word, you would meticulously, meticulously listen, feel, um, analyze every single word that you say. Every one of them. We don't speak enough about auto-suggestion and uh, unconscious verbiage and conditions. If I poke on here right now, and I've said this, I just launched some new stuff in one of my other programs that's not part of this. The conversation was around making more money. And both here and on my fan page, there was some blowback um, questions about how they could never have. The word, I could never have, means you never will, period. No matter how hard you fight, no matter how hard you want, no matter how hard you try, that is an unconscious commitment that you have with yourself that you never will. I could never have a marriage like that. I could never have a body like that. It's not for people like me. People like me deserve to feel this way. People like me don't deserve love. People like me don't have that. Any one of those is literally damning yourself to a hell here on this planet. It kind of sucks, guys. Like, like, to my core, it hurts when I hear people say this. I know that's not true. I know every single one of those aren't true unless you believe it is. Reality is easy. It's physical. It's what you think about what's physical. And it's about what you feel about what you think. <laughs> I know that sounds tricky. When you mix any of those three up, you get a life that you don't love. You get a life where you feel it has to be hard. It's kind of shocking to some to first hear these words because you've spent your entire life believing them. And now you have to justify to yourself why the thought processes that you have been using aren't working for you. But I'll tell you what, all you have to do is look at your results. Look at the results in any part of your life and I'll, I'll show you a place where you don't believe you're worth it. Where even if you say, I'm worth it, I'm worth it, but you go internal and you really ask yourself, am I worth it, something comes up and it says that you're not. And it, it sucks. It hurts. It's not cool. It's not cool to live in the hell that you create here and in your heart anymore. So, if there's anything you want, anything at all, I challenge you to start looking at your words. Look at the meanings behind the words. What meaning are you giving it? And what meaning are you saying it? The same word can mean 10 different things to 10 different people. What do you mean by it? Figure that out, my friend, and you'll literally be able to rewrite anything that you want. Rewrite your past. Rewrite what you feel about your past. Rewrite your future. Rewrite your current present that you're living right now. My hope and my prayer, my friend, is that you'll actually listen to me. It's not cool to be in pain anymore. It's not cool to suffer. And it's not cool to make yourself suffer. If you need any help with this, PM me. Please. Please. Have a more amazing day. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better and better. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better.
Michel Coulet wrote that in one of his books. He was a famous therapist from way back in the day, and there's so much crazy truth into that. I'll talk to you soon, my friend.